All right, uh, let's look at the linear independence of uh, more than two functions. All right, so here's the definition. Uh, if uh, C1, F1 plus C2, F2 all the way to Cn, Fn equal to zero implies that uh, all coefficients C1, C2 all the way up to Cn are uh, all equal to zero, then F1, F2 all the way to Fn are linearly independent. Otherwise, they are linearly dependent. All right. So uh, let's look at this uh, example here. Uh, F F1 is 1. F2 is a tangent squared of x. F3 is a secant squared of x. All right. And uh, we can actually make a linear combination. So um, let's say C1, uh, F1 and plus uh, C2, F2, plus uh, C3, F3. And I'm going to pick C1 to be 1. So it's going to be 1 times 1. And I'm going to take uh, C2 to be 1 as well. So 1 times tangent squared of x. And I'm going to take C2, uh, C3 to be negative 1 times uh, secant squared of x. Right? And remember that um, when you have uh, a 1 plus tangent squared, so using uh, trig identity, it's actually secant squared of x. So therefore, you have a secant squared of x minus secant squared of x. Uh, this is equal to 0. Right. So even though uh, the linear combination is equal to zero, it, we, we could find a non-zero coefficient C1, C2, C3, which means that uh, this is, um, so therefore, uh, we know that uh, uh, F1, F2, and uh, F3 are linearly dependent. Right? Right. So if they are linearly independent, all the C, uh, C1, C2, C3 has to be equal to, have to be equal to zero. Right? And uh, we have a great tool. Again, uh, Ronskins is, uh, is a great tool to determine um, the functions are linearly independent or linearly dependent. Right? So Ron Ronskins of uh, more than uh, two functions is the same way. Uh, we take uh, all the functions in the first row, then take the derivative for the second, and take the second derivative of the third row, and the last row is going to be n minus first derivative, right? Then take the determinant of that. And if the Ronskin came out to be zero, then we have a linearly dependent functions. If the Ronskin is not equal to zero, you're going to have a linearly independent functions. All right, so let's look at this uh, a small example here. All right, so f of x is 1, g of x is x, uh, h of x is uh, x squared. Let's find the Ronskins of uh, these functions. Uh, so Ronskins of f, comma, g, comma, h. All right, so this is going to be the determinant of, all right, first row is 1, x, x squared. All right, second row is just the first derivative. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of x is 1. Derivative of x squared would be 2x. Right? Derivative of 0 is 0. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of 2x is 2. Right? So if you compute that, and I'm going to expand along the first column because uh, it's a nice one. So it's going to be 1 times uh, determinant of 1, 2x, 0, 2. And this is going to be 1 times 2 is 2 minus 2x mi uh, times 0 is 0. So this is actually 2, which is, of course, not equal to 0. So therefore, uh, f, g, 
and H are linearly independent. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.